Whoa, okay. Look at how white that is. Oh my gosh, I think we finally got one, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, I think we got another one here. Let's find out what the date is. Three, two, one. Hello everybody and welcome back to Five Banks One Hunt. That of course being the series where I go to five different banks, pick up 10 rolls each of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters, and then search through those rolls for interesting and valuable coins and see which bank comes out on top. As you can see, our rolls are dwindling down. We've gone through the pennies, we've gone through the nickels, now it's time to go through the dimes. So here's what we got from the different banks. We have Red Bank, Yellow Bank, unfortunately is all brand new 2023. There's probably not gonna be much to look for in there. All customer wrapped from Blue Bank, almost all customer wrapped from Purple Bank and then black bank, some more uh, machine wrapped rolls. So finishing it off the same way we started. Dimes can be very hit or miss. I'm actually more excited, I think, about these customer wrapped rolls though, because that is where you can really hit big. We will, of course, be looking for the 1964 and prior 90% silver dimes, but we'll also be on the lookout for 2009s, which are low mintage, and any foreign coins, including Canadians, that we can find. As we go through these rolls of dimes, we'll be using our Quince Coin silver stacking placemat to aid us in our hunting. This placemat features dimes, quarters, and half dollars across the front of it and shows you all the different types of coins that you could find in those rolls. And then when you flip it on over to the back side, it shows you a little bit more information about coins to be on the lookout for, as well as edge pictures, which show you what the different edges of these coins are gonna look for. To Typically, you're gonna be looking for that silver edge to get a 90% silver. Of course, if you're interested in picking up one of these for yourself to aid you in your own dime, quarter, or half dollar hunting, you can head on over to my website at quincecoins.com and I'll put links down in the description below. I also have penny and nickel placemats up there for you as well. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the hunt. As always, we're gonna be kicking things off with the Red Bank. Nothing really notable on these enders. I did wanna mention though, there was one sort of notable ender. It's actually in the Black Bank, which is the last one we're gonna hit. This one looks a little bit tarnished to me. I think we may actually have a silver ender there, which would be awesome. I don't see a mint mark, which would be a telltale sign uh, that we have silver, but it still could be. So I'm excited to get to that one. But uh, first we got to go through all of the rest of them. And we are going to be starting, as I said, with the red bank. So let's jump right into it. All right, I'm just going to grab a random roll, whichever one just fell. I think that'll do. And uh, let's just get right into it. All right. So... Tightly packed little dimes. These are <laughs> one of the most annoying coins to hunt in general, but if you can find silver, man, that is what you are looking for. And I don't see really any here. I see kind of like a worn down edge that's a little hard to tell. It's You also have to have really good eyes uh, to be able to look at dimes because they are so small and uh, it's easy to miss things if you're not careful. But uh, that one's just gonna be 1996. And like I said, don't really see anything else of interest here. So I'm just gonna pour these out. I'm gonna look through them for 2009s and the like. And uh, if I don't find anything, I'll get back to you and we'll hit the second roll. All right, nothing of note in roll number one. On to roll number two. And we have, it's exciting to look at them because it takes a little while to kind of register exactly what's going on. I don't know, this one looks kind of weird. Although I do think I see like that red edge on it as well, so. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. 67, yeah, that's not gonna cut it. It did have that like darker edge to it, especially if I saw that side, I would I would be excited and think we might have a silver. But yeah, I don't see anything else, so I'll just look at these and let you know. All right, we're past halfway now, roll number six. Oh, wait a minute, there we go, nice. All right, we finally got our first 2009. That is a 2009 Philly, so at least we got something coming out of this red bank. Even if it's not silver, I will definitely take it 2009. And that makes it all worth it when you're straining your eyes trying to see what's going on with these coins. So that's awesome. 2009, and we got about four more rolls to go. So let's see what else we can get. Well, that's a really nice looking uh, 96P right there. And I believe that's the one you want to look for. The 96W is another one that you can, you can find, but that's pretty tough. That's a nice looking 96P though. I think I'll hold on to that. All right, looks like that is the end of it. So our two finds from the Red Bank right here, we got a 2009 and a really nice 96P. And now let's go ahead and move on to the Yellow Bank. All right, so the situation with the Yellow Bank is a little unfortunate. It looks like it's gonna be all brand new 2023, which uh, if you watched the last video, I went into bank number six and uh, we had all brand new 2023 uh, nickels over there. So. We are gonna be looking for a blank planchet on these. I'm gonna open all of them up. I don't really expect to find anything. And uh, at least we can open up one here and you can see kind of what it's gonna look like. These are all probably going to be brand new coins, but if we could find a blank planchet, that would be amazing. Like, look at that, that that's just insane. To see all that shiny 
new coinage right there. It is nice to, to kind of feel these coins because they do not have any dirt on them whatsoever. And it is kind of cool to look at as well. Uh, but yeah, if we could find a blank planchet, which is basically just a, a blank coin, um, then we'll know exactly what year it's from. I love how they slide around. It's just very satisfying. But yeah, so basically that's all I'm going to look for. Just a blank uh, circle. And if I don't see one, then we'll just move on. Not big into uh, looking for airs. I don't even know if there are any airs in, what is that, 2023 Philadelphia. Um, so, you know, if that's your thing, I'm releasing these back into circulation. You can uh, hopefully find them yourself. But uh, yeah, so that's really all I'm going to do here, guys. It's probably going to be a quick one. So this should be different. The blue bank is all customer wrapped rolls, which like I said, could be really good or really bad. It certainly increases the chance of getting Canadians though. I've noticed that for sure. Uh, when we have customer wrapped rolls, I like to use this little contraption here uh, to roll out the coins. It just makes it a lot easier to look at the edges because it's not as organized uh, when you're rolling these things out of the customer wrapped rolls, they kind of spill everywhere. So it's nice to have something that you can just kind of roll them into. Uh, again, though, I did look at all of these enders. I didn't really see anything of note. But yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, open up here and just dump them in and see if we see anything. All right. I think that's all of them. So let's see. What do you guys see? I am not really seeing anything there. So I mean, I see a really new looking one right there. Probably a 2023 or so, is it? No, it's 2013, so 10 years older. Okay, but yeah, I'm not seeing any silver, so I'll just look at these four 2009s again. Anything else interesting that could pop out, and I'll let you guys know what I find. All right, guys, nothing on that first roll. We do have a couple of rolls that look like this, though. They have like the triple diamond going on. So I think I'm gonna try one of those next and see if that'll bring us any better luck. Maybe these were turned in by a different person. Who knows, sometimes that happens. And, hmm. I thought we had something there for a second. There's something that's like really, really thin. Um, I'm sure it's just a dime, but it's just, it looks weird. Like look, look at this, look how thin this is. Let's just pull that out. So it's a 99, so nothing crazy, but yeah, it's just a super tiny little dime. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see if we got any silver. This is kind of dark colored here. I can't really tell what it is. Let's see what that one is gonna be. Probably just damaged, yeah, 2003. All right, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything here, guys, so we'll just get into them and I'll let you know. So nothing popped out of roll number two, so we're just gonna grab a random one here and just go into roll number three. And uh, hopefully we find something soon here, just a Canadian, anything different really would be awesome to see come out. And we have like a blue coin right there, that's kind of weird. I guess I'll check that out. That's probably the most interesting thing I see here. Just corrosion though, and usually that blue is gonna indicate uh, a copper, so not silver. And that is a 72. All right, let's check these and see what we can find. All right, nothing in roll number three, so on to roll number four here. Oh, I think we just got a 2009. Is that what that is? Yeah, there we go. So we got a 2009P coming out here in uh, the blue bank, so nice to see something come out. And uh, like I said, <laughs> hard work pays off from all that uh, eye straining. Oh, is that another one right there? No, 2008. Okay, all right, well, we'll keep going here, see what else we can get. All right, roll number eight. Oh, what is that? We have something here, finally. <laughs> finally something different, guys. Roll number eight, and you can't even see it. Okay, it's actually the second from uh, the left there. And I think it's going to be a Canadian. It doesn't look like it's going to be American, but certainly not, uh, doesn't have that coppery look to it. So let's grab it here and take a look. Yeah, newer Canadian, it looks like. So you can see the Royal Canadian mint mark there below uh, the bust of Queen Elizabeth. We'll flip it over to get a date here. Three, two, one. Rather new, 2016. Still very, very shiny, but that's cool. It's nice to see something a little bit different, and uh, every once in a while that ends up being silver. You can even find Canadian silver. That's something to be on the lookout for here, so awesome. I'll take that and see what else we can get. All right, we got two more rolls to go. This is roll number nine, the other one of those black diamond rolls, and look at that. Again, the second coin in. Looks like it's probably going to be Canadian, but I don't know. That one looks a little different, not as new, so we might have a chance for a silver Canadian here. That would be cool as well. But yeah, I think it's definitely gonna be Canadian. Let me flip it around this way and make it easier to see. And 
there it is. So you can see it looks a, quite a bit different than uh, the rest of them, that's for sure. And uh, let's just pull this coin back and see what we have. Okay, yeah, so it is Canadian. That reverse right there, though, does have a chance at being silver. So I'm going to grab this, and uh, i got to flip the placement over to the back side so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. In 1968, they did make some with 50% silver, and then the others are like a clad uh, combination. So if we get a 68, there is a way to figure it out if it's silver or not. But uh, first, we got to figure out if we even have that. So let's figure it out, guys. Three, two, one. Uh, nope, not worth going into, I guess, 1975 there. So no silver content, but uh, nice to see something interesting come out. And uh, I guess we got a whole bunch of coins here to look at. It's crazy. We got two Canadians in a row there. And we do have a 2009, so I think that uh, so far, Blue Bank is beating Red Bank, which is also beating uh, Yellow Bank, which had absolutely nothing other than a whole bunch of brand new coins. But yeah, let's uh, keep looking here, and hopefully that last roll has some, uh, some good luck for us. All right, guys, that is the end of the Blue Bank. We do have a couple of decent finds here. We got a 2009 Philadelphia, 2016 Canadian, and then a 1975 Canadian, a little bit older there. But uh, so far, not too bad. I would like to see a silver, but hopefully that's what we're going to get from the Purple Bank. Let's go ahead and get into them. All right, you guys know I love the customer wrapped rolls. I think this is probably the coolest assortment. You can see we have all different types of rolls, and I, I see that as a good sign. We got the moolah, the regular style. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen this one. That's a really cool one, and honestly, I think we should start with that one. It looks like way different than the rest. Uh, we do have one, I think that's, yeah, machine wrapped right there. So... One machine wrapped roll and then nine custom wrapped rolls. This one just looks the oldest though. Uh, like I said earlier though, I did check all of the enders. I didn't see anything on it. So I guess we'll just have to see what comes out of it. But there's the spread. You can see all the different styles of rolls that we have here. I think this is definitely going to be interesting. So I think this may be our best chance for silver. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into that weird looking roll and see what we can get. All right, here we go. I'm actually really excited about this. I really hope we can find something in here. Oh my gosh, please. Please have something good. Uh, okay, I do see something. I think it's probably a Canadian, but still, let me turn it around this way so you guys can see a little better. Yeah, I think we have a Canadian right there, and then we have like this weird corroded coin over here on this side, which looks to be a 90s coin. So that's not going to be anything interesting, but what is this going to be? Canadian 2008 it looks like got the date showing right there. So let's pull that one out We should start a Canadian dime collection with all the Canadian dimes. We're finding out here 2008 is the date and that is also going to be uh, The uh, latest model of Queen Elizabeth with the Royal Canadian mint mark down there below uh, the bust so that is very cool. All right, that was it for that first roll. I think we're gonna go ahead and open up this only machine wrapped roll here and see if that's gonna give us any luck. So it's kind of interesting to have uh, mostly customer wrapped and then one machine wrapped. I don't know how you end up with that configuration, but uh, anyways, this is what we got. I don't know what is going on with this one. Again, green corrosion on it, so probably nothing great. And it looks like a 2006, so not going to be a 2009, which I thought it might have been. I don't, well, where is it? We got another kind of like green one over here. 65 on that one. One year off of being silver. Uh, it's just taunting us at this point. All right, guys, I'll let you know if I find anything. All right, so that machine wrapped roll didn't work out. Let's try a different style. I got the moolah here. So let's focus in here on the tray. Make sure you guys are seeing the coins as they're coming out. And here we go. See what roll number three has to offer. I'm hoping that these were all turned in by different people. I think that would give us the best chance at getting some silver or at least some variety in the coins. All right, here we go. Got just a few stragglers there. Uh, no, I don't see any silver here, guys, but uh, some interesting looking edges here. I'm going to pull them out and take a look. I'll let you know. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I think we got, look at how white that is. That is a pearly white coin right there. That has to be silver. Oh my gosh, I think we finally got one, guys. At long last. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how nice it is too. Just beautiful. All right, let's take a peek. I don't think there's any way this could be Canadian. 
No, that's that's Roosevelt. Uh, it would have been awesome if we could get a uh, <laughs> if we could get a Mercury, but I think we got a rosy uh, rosy silver right there. And you may have already seen the date, but here's the coin, just in stunning shape. No mint mark on that. If there was, it would be on the left hand side of the torch there. But uh, just beautiful. So stoked on this. All right, let's go ahead and reveal the date. Three, two, one. All right, kind of as expected, 1964. Uh, that is the most common. It's also the last year that they made uh, the Silver Roosevelt Dimes. But that is awesome, guys. We did finally get one. We were not skunked this time around. So that definitely puts uh, Purple Bank here in the lead. And like I said, I had the most hope for them uh, having all of those customer wrapped rolls. So hopefully we can get another one. We, it looks like we have two more rolls to go through. I think that was just a standard roll that we got that out of. So that's awesome right there. Silver, 1964. All right, that is sweet. Let's uh, keep going here and see if we can find any else. All right, I don't know what it is, but this 22 over here, the 2022 on this side looks different. It looks like it has a different shine to it than the 21. Almost like it's a mint, mint set coin or something. I could be wrong on that, but I'm gonna hold it to the side just in case. And we are now on to roll number nine. So we lucked out on those just regular looking rolls. We do have one more of those, and then we have another uh, triple diamond. So let's try that regular roll again. So this is roll number nine right here. And let's see if we can get another silver. I would take any year. I really don't care. 64, that's great. Uh, I don't see one here though. So I'm just gonna move these to the side here and I think I'm just gonna open up roll number 10 here because now I'm really anxious to see if there's more silver in here. And uh, I'll look at those in just a sec. But here is our final roll. Just doing a silver check here. Let's see if we can get one. Okay. No, it doesn't look like it, guys. So I will look through the rest of these, see if we get any more extra uh, 2009s. We haven't found one in this bank yet. And if not, we'll go ahead and move on to the black bank and see what we can find there. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the purple bank. Obviously, our best find right there. Super nice looking 1964 silver dime, and that just proves they are still out there, so that gives me hope. Hopefully uh, this last bank here, Black Bank, is going to give us some uh, good stuff as well. These are all machine wrapped, so maybe, I don't know, I guess that just kind of evens the playing field there. Um, so we'll see what we can find here, but uh, just to really quickly recap here, we got basically the two finds uh, from the Purple Bank. We did actually get another Canadian 2008 and then that 1964 silver so definitely in the lead there silver is pretty much going to beat out anything else Now let's go ahead and get into the black bank. All right So here's our rolls from the black bank This is the one that had that ender that looked a little bit tarnished although on second thought I've seen quite a few coins that look like this so I give this maybe I don't know a 5% chance of being silver It's still better uh, than a lot of the other ones that we have seen So let's just open it up and see if we end up seeing that classic silvery edge over there on that left hand side and uh, so here, oh, I'm gonna make sure you guys can see that okay. So it would be right there. Yeah, that's definitely not silver. Do we have anything else though? That is the question. Anything solid, even if it's like a black color, because sometimes when silver ages, it does kind of tarnish and you end up with a black color. That's more of like a darker red there. So I'm thinking probably no, but uh, you always gotta check out anything that's like a solid color, like this one right here. That's probably just water damage, it's 93. And all right, so I guess there's no silver on that one, but uh, we'll check it for 2009s and I'll get back to you once I find something good. All right, I decided to finally switch the placemat over to the other side so we can see those different edges. This is what we saw earlier, just beautiful. I'd love to see like an older silver edge like that. And even a Canadian, you know, those are those are fine too. I don't think you get as many of those in machine wrapped rolls though, at least I, I haven't in my experience. Tend to get more of those in the customer wrapped rolls because people just put whatever the heck they want in there sometimes. Um, yeah, okay, I don't see any here, unfortunately, but again, we'll check for whatever we can find, 2009s, 1996 Ws, foreign coins, whatever we can see, and I'll let you know when I find something else. Oh, nice! Oh my gosh, guys, I think we got another one here. You see how white that is? Oh, that is what you're looking for right there. Yes. I think that's probably going to be another Roosevelt. But let's pull it out and see. Here we go. That kind of borders on like being an older Silver Edge though. Okay, yeah, it is a Roosevelt. 
and the obverse is facing right. So let's take a look at the reverse, see if we got a mint mark first. Yes, we do have a mint mark on this one, actually. You can see there's a Denver mint mark to the left-hand side of the torch there, coming out of a machine-wrapped roll. Can you believe that? I think this is probably the first round of dimes that I have ever done where I got more than one silver, so definitely stoked about that. Let's find out what the date is. I hope it's something different than a 64. That would be cool. All right, three, two, one. Okay, 64, but I'll take it. Absolutely can't complain about that. 1964 Denver silver number two on this batch of coins. That is unbelievable, guys. So stoked on that. All right, we actually have three more rolls to go, so hopefully we can get even another one. But uh, if not, I will absolutely be happy with this hunt no matter what because I have, like I said, never had a hunt like that. All right, guys, let's keep going here. See if we can get anything else here. Otherwise, I think, let's see, Purple Bank's still in the lead because even though we have two silvers, Purple Bank also had a Canadian. So uh, looks like Black Bank here is going to need to produce something a little better than just a silver to squeak out a victory. But I guess we'll find out here. So let's keep going and see what we can find. All right, guys, we're down to the last two rolls here. So I think I'm just going to open them up and see if we can get any silver and uh, take a look at them a little later if there is nothing obvious. So this one, definitely not seeing any silver there. So we'll dump those and take a look at them in just a second. That one looks kind of interesting. 67 there. And here's our final roll, guys. Last chance for another piece of silver. I'd love to see it, but like I said, I can end this hunt happy as it is. It would just be icing on top. All right, here we go. And what do we have in this final roll? Just like a booger, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's going to do it, guys. I'm going to look through these, make sure there's no 2009s, and it really I guess it comes down to this. If there's a 2009 here, then I think Black Bank wins, because I'm sorry, Canada, but I think I would value a 2009 dime over a Canadian dime. Uh, so I guess that's really what it comes down to right here. Let's see if we can find one. Coming down to our last few coins here, this is kind of it. Is that a 2009? No, 2000. Those ones always trick me. The 2000s and the 2005s all look eerily similar to the 2009s. All right, last few coins right here. Let's see what it's going to be. All right, no 2009s there, so it looks like Purple Bank does hold on. And uh, yeah, Purple Bank with the silver, Black Bank with the silver as well. We got complimentary 1964s. The first one was the Philly, second one was the Denver. That is so cool, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll just show you exactly everything that we are able to find out of this hunt. All right, guys, so here is the final analysis of how each bank did. We had one 2009 coming out of the red, nothing out of the yellow because they were all brand new 2023. We had one 2009 and two non-silver Canadians coming out of blue, so really not too bad there. And then our last two banks each had a silver 1964. Actually, I should probably make a correction here. The black bank had a 1964 Denver silver but the purple bank also had one canadian so it did squeak out a victory now if we compare that to look at this pennies purple bank also won and then nickels the blue bank uh was able to win that one so it's kind of all over the place i mean you do have two purple victories here but then look at how purple did uh in the nickels it was actually one of the worst so it's really hard to tell. I guess I should kind of figure out which one I want to go to for which coins. This is helping for sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm going to have to see how the quarters do in order to make that decision a little bit easier. So stepping back and looking at it from a higher level, we got silver in the nickels. We got a silver war nickel. We got silver in the dimes, two silver dimes. Let's see if we can keep that trend going and get a silver in the quarters. Can we do it? You'll find out on the next episode. Speaking of the next episode, we'll be using this silver stacking placemat in that one as well. And just a reminder, if you're interested in picking up one of these to aid you in your own dime, quarter, or half dollar hunting, you can head on over to my website at quinscoins.com. I got links down in the description below. You can also get penny and nickel placemats up there as well. And with that being said, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week. Always bring you along with the hunt and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out. And I will see you in the next episode of Five Banks, One Hunt.